All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we are back in Black Ops 6 uh, campaign once again, and we're just jumping back into where we were uh, previously at the Brook Arrival. So yeah, let's uh, resume the mission. I think uh, I accidentally closed the game out, so we should just jump straight back into it. There are a couple puzzles in this house, um, the safe house, and I <clears throat> I kind of want to show them to you guys and everything, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of do that, uh, use evidence for it. So yeah, we have this stuff. Um, <clears throat> There's a couple puzzles, so I want to go ahead and do that. The first one is the boiler puzzle solution. Uh, so it says kicks off in the basement, which case can be access, which can be accessed by the first door on your right in the corridor to the right of where Woods rests. Um, first door on the right. Maybe this one. Yep, you're right here. All right. So down to the boiler room. We haven't actually been down here yet, but that's okay. Uh, let's see. In the second room downstairs, you'll locate the boiler. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, check out whatever's in here, if there's anything that we haven't already. Um, there's Daniel this. Livingston's been planning my retirement party for half a decade. He wants a youth movement inside the CIA. More creative than agile operatives, I recall him saying. If he wasn't the one who framed me, he sure was eager to believe the pile of horseshit that landed on his desk. He can hunt me down as long as he wants. But he'd never think to look inside a former KGB safe house. Even if he knew it existed. <laughs> See, Daniel? I can be creative, too. Alright, um, <clears throat> but yeah, anyways, let's, uh... Sorry, let's go back down to where we were, sorry. The second room downstairs, you locate the boiler. Uh, vacants on how to get it started. Pilot, fuel, and boiler. Uh, on the far right is the pilot, in the middle is the boiler tap, oops, which regulates water flow. And then uh, on the far left you have the fuel tap, so yeah. Uh, first turn the boiler tap off, it says. Wait, which one was that again? Sorry. Pilot, middle is boiler, left is water flow. So do the boiler first, the fuel tap, and then the pilot. Alright, uh, <clears throat> finally use the boiler tap and turn the water fully on again, it says. Alright, um, so that should be good, I guess. It says this will unlock, uh, a door we'll need soon. Uh, now we go to the music room adjacent to the main hub, but let me just check out what this is first real quick. All right, yep, yeah, so that's just kind of a hint there. Um, all right, uh, what else is there? Anything over here? Doesn't seem like it. Oh, that's kind of interesting. All right, um, I guess let's go up this direction. I haven't seen what's over here yet. Oh, there's nothing, okay. Never mind, never mind. But yeah, all right, that's that one solved, I believe. I'm pretty sure I did that right. Uh, the next one is the piano puzzle. So let's go over there. I think it's right over around here. Yep, the piano's right here. And it says in that one, the music room adjacent to the main table where your pals await. You'll find the black light on a table. Yeah, we already grabbed that. Activate it as you'll need it. There are footprints on the floor, but you can ignore those. Instead, look at the wall above the piano and you'll see a one followed by a notation and an arrow. Look around the room and you'll see five notations in total that you must play on the piano. The notes are as follows. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so play them in the correct order. Is that right? No. That can't be right. Is that right? Oh, something there. Oh, okay, hold on. So what's it? Two up, three up. Don't know what that one is. Four down. And one. I don't know exactly, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's see. Oh, wait. 
Oh, they're up here. I didn't even realize the black light was there. Okay, okay. So, uh, the first one is this one, M. So, that one. Secondly, we need PE, this one. Then CN. And then whatever that is. And then PE again. There we go. Piano, and then that's that unlocked. All right, let's go ahead and continue. Use the black light on the piano. We'll reveal the same notation above to collect the keys. Yeah, we already did that. Um, a secret door will open next to the piano. Head downstairs and through a door. This is the door the boiler puzzle unlocked. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Oh, wait. Maybe I did it wrong then, because it says it's locked still. So let me try and do that boiler puzzle again, maybe, because I think I did it wrong or something. I'm not sure. Let me double check. Oops, I went too far, didn't I? Yep. Let me head back down to the boiler room, because I think I messed that up, possibly. I'm not sure. Did I mess it up? Sorry guys, I'm figuring it out, I promise. Boiler tap off. Boiler tap off to stop the water to flow entirely. There's a fuel tap once to set the fuel gauge to halfway. Yep, that should be halfway. And then use the pilot to start the flame. Aha! Uh -huh. That sounded like it started the flame. I don't know if it did that before. And use the boiler tap to turn the water fully on it once again. Okay, so now we should be good to go, I think. I think I just messed that up the first time, that's all. Alright, uh, yep, thread over around here, back to the piano area. And let's see if this door's unlocked now. Did I do it? No, it's still locked. Okay. Then I think I need to turn the water on a little bit more then, or something. Sorry guys, I'll get it, I promise. I forgot I could sprint here though. Alright, turn the water on fully it says. There we go. Alright, that should be good now. All right, let's uh, let's go back to that room once more. Sorry guys, I'm prob I'm getting it. I promise. <laughs> All right, this should be unlocked now. Yep, there we go. All right, what do we have in here? Ooh, this is the bunker it was talking about. Uh, let me double check what it says next. Sorry, right, one second. <laughs> okay, uh, through a hall on your right and and right again, you will find a door with a keypad. That's the next puzzle. So through hall of the right, and then right again. Right here. Yep, there we go. Obviously, we've got some stuff over here we'll check out. What does this say? Feel free to pause to read that stuff. Um, I'm going to continue with here. It says the keypad. That's the next puzzle. Uh, by using the black light on the keypad, you will discover which buttons. Oh. Um, okay, let's see. Enter numbers and press the unlock key to test possible combinations. The decryption log will indicate whether they are in the correct position, correct but wrong position, or not used at all. Okay, the black light will can illuminate single or multiple fingerprints on the appropriate keys. Okay, interesting. Hmm, interesting. All right, anyways. Um, so from there, the keypad puzzle plays out like a wordle in the other similar puzzle games. Enter a five-digit code, press the black lock, black unlock button on the bottom right, and the game will tell you which numbers were correct. Um, oh, the unlock, okay. And to uh, wrong or simply in the wrong place. The main difference between this and wordle is that you, is that here you may have to use the same digit twice. You should be able to tell that this is the case by a double fingerprint pattern on the buttons. Uh, there is a solution. Oh, okay, so it looks like it is actually different for each game. So let's go ahead and just check check them out. All right, so it's something 
Let's try. There we go, nine three 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 nine three, and apparently it differs game to game, so that's that's different, obviously. Um, all right, and then we've got whatever's in here. Let's check this out real fast. Some old, old stuff here. Uh, we've got a file or something. After the incident with Kalashnik, we are moving to a more secure system down here. All right. Oops. Keep pressing the wrong button there. Uh, what else do we have? Is there anything? Something back here maybe? Aha! It's a hack computer. Okay. Let's check what this is. All right, the decode cipher. So this one also has a uh, explanation here. And one's pretty easy. The game gives you a code word in the top left, which it, uh, which is a series of numbers, and you have to enter the correct letters in the cipher, which is explained at the bottom of the screen. For example, in their game, it was that. Each of the ciphers is over actually a word. Okay, interesting. So. Each of the numbers in the obscured code word corresponds to a letter in the, in the cipher key. Enter the correct word or words to crack the code and gain access to the system. 6312. Wait, what? <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try a room. How do we enter? Six three one two. O P E N. O P E N. Okay, my bad. I had to do that one. P, so I need E. Oh, okay. I think I get it now. I gotcha. Open. All right. Then this one is six four one eight five nine three H O L D I N G holding okay hold O L D I N G there we go. Six five five seven uh, R O O M. Okay, so this one's room. R O O M. Okay, and then last one is nine five one two three six nine B U N K E R bunker. There we go. Perfect. All right, we got that done. This will unlock one of the previously locked doors in the basement. When exiting the keypad door, turn right and go uh, into the door on the left. Okay. This one, I'm guessing. Yep. So this one was locked before, it looks like. All right, what do we have in here? Bunch of stuff, it looks like. Game developers, maybe? <laughs> uh, all right, let's read this. All right, someone swallowed a key. All right, let's pick the lock. Lock picking, rotate the lock pick until the pin rises, hold it in position until it sets. Once all pins are set, the lock will open. All right. One second, sorry. Oh, we almost got it. There we go.
Okay, nice. Oh, that wasn't too hard, actually. Sweet. Alright, uh, what's inside? Grab the key from the table. Alright, key grabbed. Nice. Like a holding room or a torture room or something. Alright, um... <clears throat> Uh, this one locked the only other door, locked door down in the, the basement, which is in the corridor opposite, corridor opposite the keypad. Yeah, it's close. So yeah, it's just up here. Yes, it looks creepy in here. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, this is the only way we hadn't gone so far. Oh, signal weak. What? Signal medium. Translated from Russian, it will be the first... I will be the first to open the save and claim the prize. Blah, 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 blah. Feel free to read it. Pause and read, of course. Uh, let's see. Quick and easy radio frequency plus play on the oscilloscope in here. Just so your wave matches the other wave in terms of amplitude. Uh, oh, two, four, zero. Hello, sir. Four, two, eight. Signals weak, signals medium, strong. All right, follow the radio signal indicator until it shows a strong response, then search for the source. Once found, turn the dials to match the amplitude and frequency of both waveforms. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Okay. Interesting. Alright, and... <clears throat> oh, okay. Rug guitar. The woman sitting on the floor six. Okay, so it's two nine six two nine six. Where's the guitar? Two nine six. Am I blind? Two nine six. Where's this guitar? I don't know where. Th oh, maybe songs, maybe. <clears throat> Any songs here? Five. The sounds of his guitar. Maybe five? Or two? Five or two, maybe. That's what I'm guessing. So. Okay, that's what I'm gonna there go with, I think. So, two, nine, six, I'm assuming. Two, nine, six, and either two or five. Two, nine, six, either two or five. All right. <clears throat> Two nine six five. I'm gonna. Oh, maybe, maybe it's this. Maybe it's the rug. Actually, hold on, hold on a second. Where was I? Not here. It was this way, right? No, no, no. It's the wrong one. Sorry. <laughs> Got turned around a little bit. Hold on. 
I might be wrong about this. Let me double check that I have the right one. Oh, there's a guitar. Oh, seven. Okay, here we go. Seven. Is there something on the rug, maybe? There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He buried the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. Eight. Okay, rug. Hold on. Hold on. I think I'm getting this wrong. So it's two, two nine, two nine eight seven. Let's try that. I think that's more accurate. Let's let's see if that's the way. Two nine eight seven. I think. Two nine eight seven. Let's check it out. Let's see if that's the code for the safe upstairs. Two nine eight seven. How do we get upstairs again? I think we can do it from over here, maybe. Yep, there we go. 2987. Uh, which room was it in? I think it was over here. Alright. Not that one. Is it this one? Oh, oh no, 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 that's not it. Uh, no, it should have been this one. There we go, yep. Let's try 2987. Is that right? No, that wasn't it. Shoot. Ah, <clears throat> oh, crap. Hold on, guys. <laughs> I thought I had it, but I think I, I was wrong. <laughs> Hold on, let's figure this out. Uh, no, not there, sorry. Over this direction. And apparently it changes game to game, so obviously it's not going to be the same. Um, was it this way? Yeah. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. He buried the woman sitting on the rug as she listened to the sounds of his guitar. There was a love letter. Two zero, maybe? Which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. Eight seven or two zero. Six, eight. No, 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 because there's a rug. Hold on. There was a love letter taped to the chalkboard, which was hidden behind a makeshift curtain. Two, six, eight, seven. Two, six, eight, seven. Two, six, eight, seven, or two, zero, eight, seven, maybe? Two six eight seven or two zero eight seven. Let's try those. Two six eight seven and two zero eight seven. All right, we'll f we're gonna figure this out. I promise. Two zero eight seven or two six eight seven, possibly. Oh, two zero eight seven. Nice. Hey, let's go. Crack the safe house. Safe. Objective complete. Nice. Oh, we got a blueprint on lock. Case cracker melee. Money can be used in the safe house to acquire new some things or other. Alright, uh should Mike we talk Marshall to him real quick? Said, oh no. Your mission details are on the board over there. Acquisition, maybe? Alright, uh, any money found during missions can be used to build out three new operations state or three new stations in the safe house. Each will allow you to acquire operator perks, making you deadlier in the field. Nice. Just tell me where you want to spend the cash and I'll set it up. All right, each of these are 500, so we can unlock all three, I think, uh, now. So training area, gear station, weapons bench. Let's do weapons bench first.
All right, check your weapons bench. Yeah, let's go ahead and check it out real quick before we head on to the next thing. All right, uh, use weapons bench. Operator perks. Money found during missions can be used here to purchase new operator perks, boosting your combat skills, physical resilience, and equipment loadout. Some have additional tier, uh, have an additional tier to advance them further. All right. Oh, and this costs money as well. Okay. Steady stance. Extra mags. Press and hold to purchase. Okay. Um. Dude, these are all really nice, and there's more too. Okay. I like this a lot, honestly. Oh, what the heck? Exclusive for multiplayer in Warzone. Interesting. All right, well, anyways, uh, let's buy the other two things real quick, and then we can kind of worry about our upgrades after that. So let's get, uh, so this is already purchased, let's get the gear station. Sticky, there's flies. <laughs> Mini fridge beers or something. Nice, nice, nice. All right, and then uh, let's also check out the training area. Let's do that one as well. <clears throat> Awesome. So the, those three are all there now. Um, <clears throat> let's check out the other two real fast, and then I think I might wrap up the video. We'll see. We'll check it out. Uh, so what's this exactly? Use gear station. All right. Heavy duty. Increase total armor slots to two. All right. Nice. Oh, you can check it out right here too. Nice. That's that's useful. So training area. Increase your total health. Reduce damage taken by explosions. Flinch. All right. Um, ooh. That's kind of interesting. All right, gear station is obviously this stuff. Uh, seems nice, but I'm not that worried about it. What's a homing knife, though? Uh, all right. Interesting, weapons bench. I think this is going to be our best uh, place to do stuff, though, to be honest. Um, yeah. More ammo from dock, dropped weapons, increased damage to armored enemies, hit fire spread, armor shredder. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go quick hands, because uh, I like reload speed a lot, actually. It looks like there's two upgrades for each of these as well, which is interesting. Um, reduce the weapon coil. Yeah, recoil is good and extra mags are good too, but I think I'm right now just gonna go with reload weapon faster, because I like, uh, I like uh, reloading really quick. A lot more. Um, let's go ahead and check out this area as well, real fast. Okay, yeah. So it's just that, really. Obviously, it changes some of the the visuals around the map too, which is kind of cool. But um, the main thing is just the little upgrades that you get. It looks like so. That's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. All right, let's head back to the main area real fast. I'm gonna get lost in this house for sure. Um, but yeah, uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry it's been a little bit less action-y, but I promise in the next part we'll get straight back into the action. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.